Don Twist of University Motors, and today I want to talk to you just a little bit about the danger of having your first motion shaft still in motion when you select first gear or reverse gear um, on the later gearboxes. And I've got a wonderful example here. So it's not uncommon, uh, you know, you, you depress the you depress the clutch and go to put it in first gear and if you don't wait long enough, the gearbox doesn't have a chance to stop its movement and you get a little bit of a <sighs> as the gears uh, mesh as they, as they rub against each other. Now the gears start off with these spur gears, um, the reverse gear and the first gear up through 60, um, up through 60, through the end of 67 on an MGB and the midgets through the end of 74. Uh, the teeth are real pointy, so that when the teeth go to engage, um, they always hit one side or the other, and the, they'll slip because they're pointy, they're, the points on them, and they'll slip one side or the other. Over a period of time, they become blunted, and you go to put it into first gear, it won't go because the gears are abutting. They will not slide. So. Put it in another gear you let your foot off the clutch for just a second everything changes position and then you go to put it in gear and they slide into gear okay but the reason they don't have that point on them is because you haven't waited long enough to put it into gear after depressing the clutch so let's take a look this is like a 1979 gearbox in fact it's a 77 gearbox all synchro MGB and here is the reverse gear and I'm gonna get a pointer I'll use this as a pointer you can see that these teeth are pretty mangled okay some are more mangled than others and like compared to what okay well let's compare them to the teeth down here now the points are gone on these teeth down at the bottom, these engage the, the main shaft, um, but this engages the lay gear. So these teeth aren't, aren't as bad, but these guys up here are really chowed. So the gear against which this fits when you engage reverse is this gear on the lay gear. Let's take a look at it inside the gearbox down inside here, and you can see as I turn this, that some of those teeth are really chipped up. And the more chipped they get, there's one that's particularly horrid, another one. Um, the more chipped they get, the more swarf, the more chips and dust and junk you get that's swirling around in the oil. And that's no good. This one is an overdrive gearbox, and there was so much junk in the oil that it galled up the oil pump, and the oil pump ceased, ceased working, so the overdrive quit. Let me show you inside the front cover here. Normally this is all just nice and smooth. This is a magnet, but if we go around here, there's junk that collects on, on the magnet. Not a lot here, Can't this isn't as good of a example maybe as I thought I was going to show you but there's stuff that collects on the magnet and that's just little bits of metal and that's no good it's no good it's not maybe quite as bad as sand in your gearbox but almost so the gears are supposed to be pretty pretty um, pretty sharp so that when this slides into here uh, then then that's that's when you get reverse um, and some of these teeth are still, this is the replacement lay gear, and this is used, and this isn't perfect either. I'm going to sharpen the teeth on the lathe. That'll be a, yet another video, maybe uh, later this afternoon or tomorrow. I'll sharpen these teeth, and sharpen these too. But the cautionary here is when you depress the clutch, wait a moment and then engage first or reverse so it doesn't go <sighs> and if the clutch isn't working don't jam it into first when it's skating like that turn the car off pump up the clutch depress it start it in gear if you have to 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 get home but this kind of damage can happen really quickly 
if the if the clutch is not thoroughly depressed or the clutch isn't thoroughly thrown out because of bad hydraulics or something. Anyway, that's just my quick video today. We'll have more of this uh, pretty soon because I've got to put an overdrive t together. Max will show you. Here's the here are the overdrive pieces. Here's the annulus and the planet gears. I'm going to change the bearings inside the planet gears. Maybe we'll have a video on, on that. This fits inside here. I can attempt to explain. Oh, there's a tech call. I can attempt to uh, explain how, how this works in yet another video. So, until then, safety fast.